back in the 80s Nike was bringing for the first time this exposed aerosol unit which at that time it seems that it actually got to faulty and for some reason they just made it slightly smaller just to make sure that they don't have to refund so many people but uh, back in 2023 Nike has brought back this Air Max 1 big bubble and since then we had a few releases uh, on the market and now in 2024 on Air Max day I think we got what I think it's the best color combination for this range Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it to really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video guys we're gonna have a look at the latest release for a pair of Air Max 1 with a big bubble. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see is coming in this regular box coming for this big bubble releases in this red and black colorway which will have this Nike swoosh window here on top of the lid. We're also gonna have these uh, small windows at the front and also at the back which will replicate the aerosol unit which for sure is looking quite nice. So let's go ahead and take them out guys. So opening the box you can see that inside we're gonna have also a slightly different uh, paper which will come in this uh, cream and white color which yet again is something usual coming for this uh, big bubble releases so let's just go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at what i think is the best color combination for this range for this uh, air max 186 in this uh, royal blue colorway Back in 2023 Nike was bringing on the market a few of these releases containing this big bubble which if you don't already know the story guys it seems that it was the first pair to expose this aerosol unit back in 86 but it seems that because they didn't actually made enough testing in all conditions the aerosol unit actually was breaking and Nike has decided to pull this off the market and they actually brought something back uh, with the smaller bubble so every now and then we're gonna receive uh, these releases containing this uh, big bubble which at least for me personally it doesn't always look good so nowadays as you might know we're gonna receive those uh, small uh, air bubbles which will also have some uh, different textures for the midsole but rather than that I would say that the rest of the shoe will be completely the same so this uh, royal blue colorway actually dropped worldwide on the 26th of March when we actually had the Air Max day for the little price of 145 pounds which will be around 160 US dollars if I'm not mistaken and it seems that this one guys actually dropped just for women's which is very strange for sure this one is gonna be more of a men's release but nevertheless I got lucky enough to find my sizing on and clothing so for sure I'm quite excited about this release guys which uh, for sure even though it doesn't bring the best materials ever for sure it's looking quite good and having also this uh, the big bubble for sure I feel that for me it's a win. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys. So as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of a few materials. So covering the front part of the tobo section and uh, the side as well we're gonna have this uh, open style mesh in this white color but for the rest of the shoe we're gonna have uh, a different mesh material which will also have this uh, shiny effect which will be present on the lateral side and also here at the ankle section as well so on top of this mesh materials which i guess uh, will act as a base layer we're gonna have this uh, felt material which will come in different colors so covering the front part of the tobo section and also on the sides this one will come in this uh, royal blue colorway which will also be present here on the lateral side as a mudguard and also covering the whole heel section as well 
and this one also be present for both sides uh, here for these uh, Nike sushes. Then going uh, above in the midfoot, this uh, felt material will come in this uh, creamish color. And besides this uh, midfoot section, this one also be present uh, just above the heel section here at the back, where we're also gonna have this uh, Nike Air and also Nike Sushi embroidered in this uh, very nice uh, blue colorway. As in for the actual lacing system, we're gonna have your normal punch out holes. As usual, we're also gonna have this uh, last uh, two eyelets made out of this rubberized material. So these eyelets will keep in place these uh, flat white laces. And underneath these laces guys we're gonna have a well padded tongue which will be made out of uh, the same mesh material as the one used here at the front but at the top we're gonna have this uh, shiny mesh and we're also gonna have this very nice uh, tag here at the top which will have this uh, nike air and air max uh, written in this uh, blue color going now inside of the shoe guys for this one we're gonna have this white lining which it seems that it's gonna have a material which for sure i feel that it's gonna keep your foot a bit warmer which will be the case for the back of the tongue as well but here will come in this blue color nevertheless i feel that this one will have a decent amount of padding so at the bottom guys we're gonna have a rather thin foam insole which will come in this blue color and this one will actually replicate the pattern from the outsole which for sure it's actually a very nice touch so this one as usual will also have some perforation holes here at the front and as usual here at the heel section we're gonna have this Nike Air and also the Nike Sushi imprinted in this white color. So now guys we can go to this white polyurethane midsole which will have the same standard pattern as most of these releases containing this big bubble. But comparing with the nowadays Air Max ones this midsole will have a slightly different design and also the texture will be different as well. Nevertheless I find that this one it's still providing a, a quite good level of comfort even though the technology is actually quite old so now guys uh, we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this uh, blue black and white color which will contain this uh, waffle pattern here at the front and as usual we're here in the midfoot we're gonna have it on the big uh, air lettering and uh, just in front of it the smaller nike swoosh and also the nike lettering as well as in for the actual sizing guys for this range i'm always going with a half size down and that's mainly because i have a skinny feet but as this one will be a woman's release for sure you will need to convert it from a woman's size to a man's size uh, as well but here in the uk it seems that we don't actually need to convert anything but just in case you have a normal feet guys for sure i will advise you to just uh, stay with your true to size and just in case you have white feet most definitely i would suggest to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this one is not gonna make too tight for you but please don't forget that this one will be a woman's release so for sure you will need to convert it from a woman's size to a man's size so overall guys this uh, brand new release coming from nike for this air max one in this uh, royal blue carway in my opinion it's one of the best looking releases uh, coming for this uh, range ever and even though this uh, big bubble just made a comeback quite recently i'm not entirely sure why it took them so long to bring this carway i really think that this one should have been the first one to be released but nevertheless uh, we finally have it uh, uh, back and from what i saw on sneakers app this one is uh, sitting in most of the sizes and on other platforms as well so for sure this is your chance to bag one of the most iconic releases ever for a pair of uh, nikes which it seems that it was the first uh, pair with an exposed air sole unit and even though this one is not bringing the most uh, premium materials in the world it's still gonna be a nice uh, drop on the market which even though will have some old technology it's uh, still providing a quite decent level of comfort so for sure guys if you want to have a very iconic pair of shoes in your uh, collection there is no time to waste this is the time to go for it as i said earlier this one is still sitting in a lot of platforms but don't take it for granted for sure it will sell out quite fast so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of this brand new release coming from nike for this air max one big bubble which for today we had it in this royal blue carway i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my other reviews containing this big bubble you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching